Despite COVID-19 and the global economic downturn, the scale of the uh, digital economy is 47 countries, now tops 38 trillion US dollars, with a 15% year-on-year increase, accounting for about uh, 45% of the total GDP. I mean, the scale and the speed of its development gives people hope as a new driving force for the economic growth. Professor Mitchell, do you think uh, the digital economy will become one of the main pathways to help us restore the global economy? Well, I think I think the answer is yes. We're fortunate that just at the time when the world economy needs a growth spurt, um, artificial intelligence is going through a growth spurt and is going to enable and support the development of a whole variety of new products and services that'll spurt the economy. Yes. And uh, Mr. Zhang, this year, your proposal at the two session is mainly about making the digital economy stronger and better. So how does the digital economy provide a new driving force to the economic growth? What is your perspective? Well, well, in 2021, the scale of China's digital economy reached the 45 trillion yuan, accounting for nearly 40% of its GDP. Since 2015, the average growth rate of the digital economy has been higher than that of GDP. In 2021, the proportion of China's digital economy in GDP has increased from 27% in 2015 to 40%. There is no doubt that digital economy has become an important engine for global economic recovery. At the same time, industry Digitalization creates demands for innovative technologies such as 5G, cloud computing, big data, Internet of Things, and artificial intelligence. It also calls for talents in semiconductor manufacturing, operating system, and general artificial intelligence systems. It will stimulate cultivation of innovative talents in many, many countries and further promote employment. Therefore, accelerating the development of the world economy. 